Howdy all, welcome to the NGS report. This is the Canik TP9 SA. We're out here in sunny North Carolina. It's a balmy 14 degrees. Right now my camera girl is covering her face trying to stay warm. We're at the range with the Canik TP9 SA. You know, this is a good gun, and I thought it was time to do the NGS report on it. Let's put it through its paces and give the scores. At 45 feet, I give the Canik TP9 SA 9 cheese cans. You know, I'd give it 10, but it does jump just a little bit. It's a little higher bore access. The gun uh, feels a, a little less stable in my hands. With practice, I, I could overcome that, but it's not quite the natural fit, uh, at least not enough to give it a 10. It's exceptional. Once you have the trigger issue worked out, if, if, if you have that flaw, it's pretty exceptional to shoot at 45 feet. I think from the perspective of being able to hit the target, it's a 9. For available accessories, I give the Canik TP9 SA four cheese cans. Now it does come with everything you need to get going. It has an outside the waistband holster, kind of Black Hawk style. Uh, those are nice inclusions in the case, but man, when you go out and try and look for, you know, night sights or you want extra magazines or, you know, anything for this gun, it, they're impossible to find. Now, I, I do believe this gun is a knockoff of the Walther PPQ, and so some of those accessories may fit this gun, but it's going to be hunt and pack and, you're, and trial and error to figure it out. For that reason, four cheese cans. Carry comfort for the Canik TP9 SA, five cheese cans. Hey, this is a really large pistol. It's a full-size duty gun. You get 18 plus one rounds. It's not going to be something you're going to carry concealed unless you're a really big guy. Now I may be egg shaped, but I'm not very tall, and this gun just is not going to work uh, carrying it concealed. Now outside the waistband, it bouncing around on the truck, it's fine. That's why I give it an average score, five cheese cans. Ammo tolerance for the TP9SA. Well, six cheese cans. I ran into some range ammo that just wouldn't shoot out of this gun. Because of that, I got to recommend that if you if you're gonna try and carry this for protection. You, you really need to make sure you've got the right ammo for it, and you may run into some problems when you're uh, looking for practice ammo, so six cheese cans. Annoying gotchas. This gun has them. Let me start off by saying three cheese cans. There are a lot of annoying gotchas with this gun. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch my trigger issue uh, videos with this gun. I'll put a link here somewhere. There were a number of people that replied, and I don't have a huge YouTube channel here, folks, but there were a number of people that replied and said their gun exhibited that problem in some way as well. To me, that's a giant annoying gotcha. Here's another giant annoying gotcha with this gun, the decocker. It's completely useless, and if you were uh, expecting to carry this gun for protection and you managed to hit that decocker, as soon as you do that, you've got a dead stick. You've got no trigger. You'll have to rack the gun again to fire. It makes it almost useless for personal defense, in my opinion. So, huge annoying gotchas with this gun. Three cheese cans. Warranty for this gun, I think, is incredible. Lifetime, limited lifetime warranty for the original owner. You know, you can't ask for much more. And I did actually go through the process of uh, making a warranty claim for the gun for the trigger. So, you know, I can speak firsthand that uh, uh, Sentry Arms did a, a great job getting the gun. Uh, getting it fixed, getting it back to me, uh, getting that warranty process started was a little difficult, but once that happened, I didn't have to lay out a dime to get the repair done. So, you know, 10 cheese cans for the warranty. Overall value for the TP9SA, I'm going to give it six cheese cans. Um, this gun is, for, for what it is, the price point is just too high. I, I got this gun, you figure around 350 and the prices have come down some since then, 
But for all of the other problems that I've had with this gun and some of the finickiness of it, uh, I, I really got to say you're not getting as much for your money as I would expect at that price point. If it were $100 cheaper, $250, yeah, maybe we could talk. So, got to say, six cheese cans. Breakdown and cleaning in this gun is just dead simple. And it may be the one place that the decocker actually has a purpose. So instead of pulling the trigger to uh, strike the gun out, you can just use the decocker. Now you reach in, pull these two tabs out, push the slide forward, pull the spring, remove the barrel. I give this gun nine cheese cans for breakdown and cleaning. The only thing that keeps it from being a 10 is dealing with some of the carbon and stuff that gets inside here. The way the gun is designed, it just makes it a little more difficult to get that stuff out of there. It's the only thing keeping it from being a 10. Nine cheese cans. Mechanic TP9SA, overall, an average of 6.5 cheese cans. You know, it's a good gun, but really its its usage is really limited. You're, you're going to take it out to the range, shoot it, it's fun for that, but you know, I couldn't recommend it for carrying uh, because of the decocker. And the price that you're paying for it at about 350 bucks, there's a lot of guns out there that uh, you, you, know, you can actually carry, you can do a lot more with. Uh, the value just isn't here. If it were a hundred bucks cheaper for something maybe you you threw in the in the truck or or just took out to the range, I would probably rate it higher. But you know, at 350 or uh, above 300 bucks, the value is just not there in my opinion. So 6.5 cheese cans. That wraps it up for the Canic TP9SA. Won't be making any more videos on this gun. I think I've learned everything I really can from it. So. You know, we'll go ahead and trade it in and pick up something else we can make new videos on. Well, I appreciate you watching. I hope you like this format. We'll see you next time.